From Lindenwald High School, this is the Morning Roar. With anchors Marquez Haywood and Jaron Hall. With meteorologist the Imani Deputy and the 411 with Julissa Jackson. Good morning, LHS. I'm Marquez Hayward. Welcome to today's broadcast of the Morning War. And I'm Dinesha Towns, and today is Tuesday, January 15, 2019. Attention staff and students, the LHS bowler team is selling these awesome three-quarter zip dry fit sweatshirts to raise money for their team. These shirts are school approved and can be worn as part of your uniform. Each shirt will be embroidered with the LHS bowling logo in your name for the ridiculous low price of $25. This shirt is available in both colors shown. If interested, please stop by and see Coach Johnson in room B105 or stop by the school store during your lunch period. Thank you. Do you like to dance and want to hang out with your friends and have fun at school? Maybe you wish your boyfriend or girlfriend would take you on a fun and expensive date. Then come to the LHS Valentine's Day dance on February 15th. This dance is for all LHS students and their guests. If they are from out of district, they need to have a signed permission slip. You can get one from Mr. Flo or Ryan or Mrs. Porter. The dance is hosted by the sophomore class. It will be from 7 to 10 here in the cafeteria. There will be a DJ, selfie booth, and pizza. Tickets will be on sale and all lunches starting on January 28th. Don't miss this fun event. The LHS step team will be selling Krispy Kreme donuts and hot chocolate on Friday, January 18th after school in the lobby. Please come out and support. On January 24th at 7 p.m. here at the high school in D100, the B-Ball for Life Foundation will be hosting a panel discussion, what it takes to be an elite athlete. This will be a panel discussion with various professional athletic trainers and college athletes. Have questions about how to get to the next level? What is it like being a college student athlete? Want to know who some of the up-and-coming high school athletes train with? This session is part of our preparation for HBCU tour. Interested? Come out and find Come and find out what we're about. Special guest, a local parent of the NFL will be present to speak with parents. There is a limited seat and as the public has been invited, go to bballforlife.org under events to register. There is no fee to attend and refreshments will be provided by the Linda Wall Education Association. Question is to Mrs. Lee D-102. Semi-pro basketball is back at Linden Wall High School. The Philly Cannons are having a whirlwind season crushing their opponents. Come see them demolish the RDC Vulcans. This ABA team will be playing here on January 26th at 2 p.m. B-Ball for Life Foundation Incorporated will be selling concessions and merchandise. There will be a DJ, halftime entertainment, and a half-course shot contest where you can win $100. For tickets, go to www.bballforlife.org under your events. Cost is $10. See Mrs. Lee in D102 for any questions. It's weather time, now let's go to our meteorologist. I'm DMI Deputy with today's forecast. Today we have mostly sunny sky with a high of 40 and a low of 23, and winds coming from the west at 7 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the five day forecast. On Wednesday, we have mostly cloudy skies with temperatures at a high of 40 and a low of 23. On Thursday, we have cloudy skies with a high of 36 and a low of 30. On Friday, we have cloudy skies with a high of 42 and a low of 28. On Saturday, we have snow with a high of 39 and a low of 34. On Sunday, we have showers with a high of 39 and a low of 16. Now, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with, with liberty and justice for all. I'm DMI Deputy with your former one. It's time for another Row for Row moment brought to you by Mr. Flake's Community Broadcasting Class. For real? Do you know what sport is the most popular worldwide? Any guesses? It's not American football, it's soccer. Did you know only the United States and Canada refer to soccer as soccer? The rest of the world considers this football. It is believed that the first soccer game originated in China. The World Cup is the world's most viewed sporting event. The first World Cup was held in Uruguay in 1930, and the first goal ever scored in the World Cup was made by a Frenchman known as Lucien Laurent. Uruguay is the first team to ever win the World Cup against Argentina 4-1. In World Cup history, the teams with only one goal are Israel, Togo, Iraq, Bolivia, Angola, and El Salvador. The world's highest paid soccer players are Cristiano Ronaldo, 
With $80 million in earnings, Lionel Messi is the second highest paid with $64.7 million and Zlatan Ibrahimovic is the third highest paid with $34 million. According to AboutSports.com, the top three soccer players are Pele, the second best player is Messi, and the third is Maradona. The highest scoring soccer game was 149 to 0. Did you know that soccer started a war? El Salvador beat Honduras to qualify for the World Cup in 1970. And soon later, a war broke out between these two countries and it was known as the Soccer War. The World Cup trophy is made of solid 18 karat gold and the trophies the team get are gold plated replicas. This has been your For Real Moment. For real? I'm Marquez Haywood. And I'm Denature Townsend. You stay classy, Linda Wall. Thank you for watching today's telecast of The Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS TV. Watch this and other shows at LHSTV.com.